Welcome to the Duelist Pub. Today we are going to do our Monday deck profile, which is Spirit Charmers. Uh, I tested it throughout the weekend and still feel like there could be a little bit room of improvement, but I think it's gonna take a lot more than like a month of really like testing a lot of different cards. But this is kind of where I ended up. I know a lot of people have a lot of different takes on this deck. This is just mine. There you go. We're also gonna open up a uh, circuit break. Circuit break. Six packs of that, so make sure you pick your left, pick your right. Who knows? I always go with the dice. But that is where we're at for today. So like, subscribe, Comment down below, do all that cool stuff, and help this channel grow. We're right, kind of like fluctuating around uh, 450, 460, and uh, I need to see that more like in the millions. You know, just right now to the millions. We'll get to the billions later. You know, we'll become the greatest channel ever, blah, blah, blah. I know. It'll happen. But until then, let's just go open some cards, look at some cards, and talk to you like we do on the Discord all the time. Besides dueling, we also duel a lot on there. Are you on the Discord? It says join the Discord. I can't understand it. You're not on there yet. You should totally be on there. Hey! It's the dueling bell. You knew that. Let's go! Welcome to another episode of AJY. Sitting over here at the table down in the duelist pub we're gonna start out with our um circuit breaker and then we'll get to our deck profile but uh we are going to really we're gonna start out with the i didn't get to this time because i only had 50 cents but let's see what we got out of the um quarter machine Jazam! infinite track drag shovel is our hollow and our rare is a supreme king's castle so i'm pretty sure that we definitely have all the infinite track stuff we need um and I don't, this is a hero card all right well i can look into that i have a pretty nice stack of hero stuff very big stack of hero stuff there's a lot of hero cards it's crazy all right well Let's go ahead, get into the dice roll. It's a four. So, that means the right side has got the best cards. Here we go. And the name of the Yugi and the Kaiba and the heart of the cards. Please bless our pulls. Amen. If you guys didn't know, I used to sing with Elvis Presley back when he was, before he was alive. Yep, before he was dead and before he was alive, when he was just an angel in the sky. Alright, anyway. Crawler Spine. Temple of the Mind's Eye. World Legacy Clash. World Legacy Pawns. A Link Bumper. And a back squad, Backup Squad. Each time you take a thousand or more damage by your opponent's card effects or their monsters attack, draw one card. Hey, how about that? Cyber's Beacon, Muscle Medic, and Crawler. Crawler Spine and Crawler Receptor. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Here we go into pack two. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, glorious Monday. Unless you didn't watch this on the day it came out, then I hope that you're having a glorious Insert day here. Crawler Spine again. World Legacy Clash. Oh my god. Is this going to be one of those? No, Link Restart. Uh, when a spell or trap or monster effect is activated, that would inflict damage to you. Negate the activation if you do special summon one Link monster from your graveyard. Sub Terror Behemoth Fiends. Twin, t twin Triangle Dragon. Alright. FA Turbo Charger. F.A. Pit Stop, Capacitor Stalker, and Soldier Dragons. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can, quick effect, you can special summon one level two or lower dragon monster from your deck. 
That's pretty good. It's pretty good, actually. All right. It's a good effect. It's not a very good card. I mean, who the hell's gonna put that in their deck? All right. Last pack for the left side. Luna Light, Crimson Fox, Mistar Boy, Crawler, Ranvir, Metaphys Executor. Okay. Metaphys, Daedalus, World Legacy in Shadow, Dark Angel. Hmm. That looks like a Trickstar card. Muscle Medic. It looks like a Trickstar card, which if it is, um, I know somebody that's building Trickstars. That's totally a Trickstar card. It doesn't say Trickstar, but come on now. All right, well, he's getting this. If you're watching, here you go, Zavala. Got you another one. Good thing I was paying attention to that picture in good quality, because you told me about how it's got the flowers. If you don't know, he told me all this. In Trickstars, their name is actually the name of a deadly flower, and then it shows the picture of the flower in the corners with this little, uh, this design that they do inside the picture. So Trickstars are the only one that do that. It's pretty cool. So there's your Yu-Gi-Oh! fun fact for the day. First pack on the right side coming to you right now. The Accumulator. It don't mess around, it accumulates. Gains attack equal to the combined link rating of all link monsters on the field times 300. Hey, we got a rocket card. It's cool. Put that to the side for me. Duck Dummy. Uh, didn't we just get this? No, we got uh, Executor. So now we got another Metaphys card. Uh, Destrudor, the Lost Dragon's Prison. I don't know what's up with that, but we'll take it out. Sniffer Dragon, another. This must be the Rocket stuff. I don't know if all these are necessarily good for the deck, but I can tell you right now, it smells like Rocket stuff. Alrighty, okie dokie, here we go. Amazon Pet Liger, Lunar Light, Mr. Boy. Hey, we've got number 41, Bogoska, the Terrible Tired It's a pair. Two level four monsters. Once per turn during your stamina phase, detach one or two from this card if you cannot destroy it. This attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this attack position card with card effects. While this card is face up on the, while this card is in face up defense position, change all face up monsters in the field to defense position. Also, negate the activated effects of monsters that were in defense position when that effect was activated. Wow, that's pretty hardcore. It's pretty cool. All right, got another Daedalus. Alter guys. Remote Rebirth, World Legacy, and hey, we got another Dark Angel. You got two coming your way, buddy. Last pack on the right. Last pack in total. Can we pull something other than a super? Link Infra Flyer. Mm. Res Rectical? Recital? Recital Starling? Mermail? A, another Subterror? Trickstar! A rare Trickstar Narcissus. Man, this is definitely going to be his opening because we just pulled a ton of cards for Zavala. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, Pick up our mess of cards here. Uh, I'm gonna say this was a dead tie, uh, to be honest with you, because it doesn't seem like there was any one more than the other. That's just my opinion. Oh, we lost a, there it is. That should be all the, all the good stuff. Take this, take this. 
And we're gonna put all this stuff right on the top of that. Put all these on the bottom. And then we're gonna go look at a little deck profile I like to call Spirit Charmers AJ's YouTube style. Because that's what we got. Dice away. Deck here to stay. All right. So, got a couple of our tokens here. Put them up there. We got the deck, we got the extra deck. And our side deck. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. We've got the beginning of all these let you special summon them. They're all pretty much the same. They're just different, you know, we got the, the wind, the fire, the earth, and the water. But you can only control one, you know, insert name of each one here. If you control a spellcaster monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is destroyed by battle of card effects sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one 1500 attack and 200 defense monster from your deck. So these are all 15 and two. They can just get each other if they get destroyed. They get special summoned out. They're very handy. Okay, this is a spellcaster monster that you you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. That's it. You can only control one of these as well, but you just get to special summon it. So if you open your hand with this and any one of those, you're getting two monsters special summon to the board for, for nothing. You just special summon, special summon. It doesn't, you know, two bodies for nothing. So that is incredible, and I just, I really recommend playing the one of each of those. It'll take a five spot, but it's really good. Now we got Win the Wind Channeler, we got, uh, which is, it literally, it's the only card that says it, but this card is always treated as a Charmer card, okay? We got Familiar Possessed of the Fire, Wind, Earth, and Water. And then a double wind one because we also have wind the wind channeler. If they had more of these, I probably would play them just because they're a charmer monster. Um, and they got 1500 defense, which is really important. These also have that. They, they these all have the same attack. They're just a, these are a little different than this one. I don't know why the rest of these don't have this version of the card. I don't know why this didn't even come with the deck. It's just weird. Either way. These are your familiar possessed part of the portion. These are the awakening of the possessed. We have the earth, the fire, the wind, and the water. So we have one of each of them as well. Uh, we've, we're running two of the witchcrafter golem, uh, Araru. My, my problem with this card is if you're running, I almost just want to run one, but I like to see it. Because every time your opponent messes with one of your spell casters you get to bring it this card out onto the field you just special summon this card out there and then when your standby phase kicks in it comes back to your hand so the next time they try to mess with you it comes back out it's just a reoccurring thing to try to save your spell casters my only problem with it is is that since you are reoccurring it and you can only use one per turn when you end up with two or three of these in your hand they're just taking up spots they're not helping you um so that's that's why we're just going to stick with the two and possibly go down to one with them we run three fairy tale luna when she comes out onto the field you can add a spellcaster with 1850 attack from your deck to your hand and once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Send one card with, uh... Your opponent can send one card with that monster's name from their deck or extra deck to the graveyard to negate this effect. Otherwise, return both this card and that card to the hand. So, it's pretty nice for removal. Just get something out of the way. Like, oh, what? Yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, get that off the field. So, we're gonna run three of the Luna. Also, because this Dogmatic Theo has 1500 defense and is a spellcaster, it also works good with this um, Charmer slash um, 
spellcaster engine, whatever you exactly want to call it. Uh, I'll show you the card here in a second. It's one of the spell cards. But you're going to want spellcasters with 1500 defense because that's what helps you to negate a, uh, a monster effect the first one of every turn for your opponent. So we're going to run three of them. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the extra deck. You can only use the following effects once per turn. If a special summon monster, or if a monster special summoned from the extra deck is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once again, a free special summon if a monster, if you special summon a monster from the extra deck, you can special summon this card. It's just if a monster special summon from the extra deck is on the field, you can bring this card out for free. Uh, you can target one face up monster in the field that was special summoned from the extra deck. Until the end of this turn, this card gains 600 attack, and if it does, the targeted monster loses 600 attack. Once again, this card goes up to 24, and your opponent's special summon monster, if they got one, will go down. Otherwise, you don't even have to use the effect if, you know, you don't want to. Uh, we got three parallel exceed. Our extra deck is full of link monsters, so... You really, it's nice to have a little extra fodder out there. Okay, let's clean this up before we go into our spells and traps. This is, it's a pretty nice structure deck, but you better have the extra deck to really make this thing pack the punch. Because you can do your moves, but without an extra deck that's really going to make this thing through the roof, your, this deck isn't going to go very far. Now we're running two of the field spell Grand Spiritual Art and one of the field spell uh, Secret Village of Spellcasters. This one is if you, uh, if you only, if only you control the Spellcaster monster, your opponent cannot activate spell cards. If you control no spellcasters, you cannot activate spell cards. So you go ahead, you put this out on the field if you want with terraforming, otherwise you just pull it. And you got spellcasters galore in here, they can't activate spell cards. Also, with the Grand Spiritual one, that allows you to, as long as you have a monster with 1500 defense, the negate your opponent's first monster effect that resolves each turn. And then... Also, it's got like an extra effect where you can reveal one spellcaster monster in your hand, and if you do, add one monster with the same attribute, but with 1500 attack and 200 defense from your deck to your hand. Basically, what you're gonna do here, and then you gotta put that spellcaster into the deck. What you're gonna do is, let's say you really want um, uh, one of those monsters that lets you special summon as long as you're controlling a spellcaster. Well then you just bounce one of the spellcasters you have in your hand into the deck to pull one of them of the same attribute out. That way you can just special summon them out on the field right away. So that, that actually comes in handy quite a bit if you really need one of those. Spirit Charmers times three. Quick play spell. Discard one card. Take two cards from your deck with different names from each other that are Charmer monsters, familiar possessed monsters, and or possessed spell and trap cards and add one of them to your hand, set the other one to the field. This is huge. This is so damn good of a card. I can't see anybody not running it at three. We This one you can run at one, but uh, I run at two just in case. Uh, monsters you control gain 300 attack for each different attribute you uh, control. Charmer and familiar possessed monsters um, you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. If a spellcaster monster with 1800 original attack is normally special summoned to your field, draw one card. That's huge. You get draws, they're protected, everybody goes up. I mean, that card should be a secret rare for sure. Uh, I actually, I'm probably gonna buy those in the ultra rare I know they're in. I don't know if they're in secret. We got a monster reborn. Um, nothing special as of right now, just testing it out to see if like, I really want to keep it in because it's this card. It's it's like a tight 40 card deck right now, but I might have to go a little over that. We'll find out in you know the weeks and month to come. See where this ends up. We run two unpossessed charmer monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. If a familiar possessed monster you control attacks, 
uh, an opponent's monster, it gains 800 attack during damage calculation only. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, while this card is already face up on your field, in, in, well, on your field, you can special summon one spellcaster monster with 1500 defense from your deck. And that's any of them. This one has 1500 defense. Boom, she gets special summoned out there. And then she's also a charmer. She's instantly protected. Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. It's huge. Um, you can bring it out and face up attack or face down defense. So two of the unpossessed. And finally, three possessed partnerships. Special summon one spellcaster monster at 1500 defense from your hand or graveyard in attack position or face down defense. Then if you control monsters with two different attributes, you can destroy one face up card on the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one possessed continuous spell, which is right there. Um, you can bring that, uh, place it on your field. So. That is the end of our magic and trap cards for this deck as of right now. Uh, I like the way this build works. It's just my only problem with it is when I get to, you know, making my end board, I don't have, you know, certain cards. Like, there's just some stuff you need for this. These two right here, I stole from another deck profile. That's actually the only thing I stole. I, I looked at somebody else's profile and they had uh, these code breaker viruses in there. So I threw them in. One's a link three, one's a link two. They kind of work off each other. Other than that, the entire rest of this build is all my crazy idea. We run an Abyss Dweller. It also helps all your water monsters to go up as long as you went into this with water. They go up by 500 attacks, so that's helpful. IP Mascarena. Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. This is super important in this deck. Like, I cannot explain it enough how much this deck needs heavy hitting cards. And between Appaloosa and Boral Sword, those are like the ones that I need to get to to win the game. As long as I can get these out on the field, or, you know, even just Boral Sword and a bunch of other stuff, but really I would like to make this if I got a pass turn from going first and stuff. So. They are amazing. Um, you also, you probably, you're definitely gonna need uh, Celine, Queen of Master Magicians. Her attack, 1850. I wonder why that is. But, uh, there's our second IP Mascarena. Um, if this card is a link summon, place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells in the field and in the graveyards. While in a dimming card, you don't really pay attention to that part. Once per turn during your main phase, quick effect, you can remove three spell counters from your field, special summon one spell caster from your hand or graveyard in defense position to his own this card points to. So you go ahead, get a card back. It's pretty damn useful, but also it's helpful for having 1815 as a spell caster. That's pretty, pretty damn good. We have the Fire Charmer, the Water Charmer, and the Wind Charmer. We do not have the Earth yet. It is in the mail though, and so we have a second Wind Charmer taking up that spot. We have Downard Magician Girl, and Quintet Magician, and Barricade Board Blocker. If this is a... Uh, Dark Machine Link to. If this card is Link Summoned, you can discard one card. During the end phase of this turn, add one continuous or field spell from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. Face up spells you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. It's protection, it gets you something back in case you have it in your graveyard. It's pretty damn good. These two, well, this one's nice for the spellcaster part, but, um, Mainly, we're only playing this spellcaster because the whole deck is full of spellcasters. So, if you're running like, you know, one poly or super poly or something like that, you go ahead, you find, you know, oh look, five spellcasters. Poof, super poly, instead of, you know, throwing a uh, starving venom dragon in here, which probably will end up in there. But, uh, that's if you run the super poly. But this, I just didn't want to forget this. Um, this dude easily can come out with this deck, being that it's a ton of spellcasters. It's just insane. Must be fusion summoned. If this card is fusion summoned using five spellcaster monsters with different names, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls 
This face-up card on the field cannot be attributed, nor used as fusion material. Also, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. The only thing you can get away with this guy is battle or putting it back into the hand. It's the only way you're getting rid of this card. It can't be destroyed by card effects. You can't use it as, like, um, tributing and fusion material. You gotta get this dude out the hard way. So use Super Poly to get this guy out. And then they can't even super poly to get rid of them. Well, there you go. That is our spirit, charmer, structure deck slash a bunch of other cards that I also put in it. So it's not just the structure decks. And I know you're probably thinking like, what, where are the veilers? Where are dark ruler no mores? Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff right here in the, um, the side deck just because everybody's putting the Veilers and the Dark Rulers in this deck, so they're gonna expect it. Do the unexpected. Because if they know you got Veilers, and know you know got that, they'll just side for it. You say, oh, I'm playing Spirit Charmers. They don't think Dogmatical Leo is in that deck. They think you got a bunch of Veilers and Dark Rulers in it. Throw some dang Nibiru's in this thing and really just kick it off right. Anyway, we're done. I'm happy you guys stuck around this long. Thank you guys so much. I end my turn.